guys, um, a lot of people um, on the internet are posting videos on how to feed African dwarf frogs, and I actually have three African dwarf frogs, and I'm going to show you the proper way to feed your frog. That way they actually eat. Um, a lot of people get them from the store, and they get something that looks like this. The aquatic frog pellets. Now, these are really good if you've got like tadpoles and you can grind these up, but I would not recommend giving these to your frog. Um, only bean is you can put them in the top and they just float around. Your frog is a bottom feeder. It's not going to go up to the top to feed on these pellets. What you can get, stuff that I like, I prefer live, but I don't have live at the moment. So blood worms, you get a thing of these. You get you a little dish and you put their water in it. Make sure you don't just keep adding chlorinated water. I kind of took their water out of the tank and put it in the petri dish. And what you're going to do, you're going to get, for three frogs, I get a good size amount in between my fingers like this. And you just go ahead and put that in the petri dish. You're going to let this sit for like three to five minutes, let it soak up the water, and then I'll show you what we're going to do after that. All right, so five minutes has passed, and I still have my blood worms in Petri dish, uh, same way I left it for you guys. Um, what I'm going to do here, uh, excuse the vibrations, because you guys are literally right next to the, uh, the air, so kind of move that over a little bit, but... What you're going to do is you're going to take your fingers and you're going to pinch each one of these and just kind of sink them and wiggle them off your finger. And you're going to get them all to kind of sink to the bottom. By doing that, you're releasing the air out of it. And what this does for the frog is it allows the frog to hunt its food at the bottom of your tank or whatever you're using. Because they are not going to swim up to the top to try and eat your food. Um, that just won't happen. The only thing that we're going to go to the top for is either to sit on something close to the top of the water, water, excuse me, or uh, get some air. And that's kind of a quick action. They kind of just dart to the top, get air, and then dart down. Um, these guys don't like to stay in one place for too long, so having to swim up to the top and stay there is kind of not in their preference. They're uh, they're not really good swimmers. and they're very active so they want to be hunting at the bottom and you'll find better results with this than the pellets um, I only use the pellets literally for half a day I feed my frogs twice a day um, one good feeding like this in the morning and then a light feeding like half of this at night and that seems to be working fairly well But literally all I'm doing is pinching the air out of this and we kind of just get it to sink. It's kind of um, a tedious task but overall it, it really helps your frogs and if you don't want to go through this every time then I suggest not getting frogs because you do have to take a little bit more time than what you do with fish. Kind of just squish it up on the side and drag her down kind of roll it. And as you can see from the video, you see a lot more floaties. And what I'm doing here as well, um, I'm not only making them sink, um, being that I'm squishing them around in here and it's in this little petri dish, I'm getting the water to get really stinky for the frogs. And it's going to smell like blood worms. So pick an area of your tank that you do this in, where you're going to dump it, and stick to that spot. Don't put it somewhere else. That way when they smell this in their tank, they go right over to the spot and they can start feeding. They're very memory driven, which is actually really nice. Um, a lot of frogs, even adults, will never learn how to go and search for their food, which is really weird. 
you kind of have to baby them in the beginning and um, kind of turkey baster it, uh, put it down in front of their mouth and kind of just let it, you know, squeeze down into their general vicinity. But they start to get the clue after a while. Either that or they, get, they starve, which isn't ever good. But you want to make sure you're taking care of your frogs properly. Okay, that should be good. Now let's go ahead and add this to the tank. Okay, we've got it all set up for feeding time. So let's go ahead and pour this in. I pour it over here in the corner and I kind of let the filter pour it where it wants to as it goes down there, but the, I constantly put it in the same spot here. Kind of get those stragglers off, get them everything I got. And there we go. As you can tell, um, I, well, I don't know if you can or not because of the lighting, but uh, yeah, you can kind of see them floating around down here. Uh, they're just sinking down into this corner and the pungent smell of the water is going to attract them over there. Um, I've kind of got two or three floaties up here, so I'm going to pinch them and drop them down into the water. Make sure they get all their food so I don't get any left behinders. Kind of helps your uh, tank stay cleaner as well. And that's another thing. Make sure you don't overfeed them because if they don't want to eat, they won't. And if you have uh, substrate that's kind of thicker like what you should have for frogs um, it'll fall in between them and if it's not live blood worms they won't pop back up and it'll kind of just get gross and you'll have to clean it more often so but that is the proper way to feed your African door frog and if you have any questions go ahead and leave a comment if you have any advice for me go ahead and leave a comment subscribe like and go ahead and give this video a share thanks guys